Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a video I am filming um, in middle July. I just uh, came back from London yesterday and uh, I wanted to unpack my beauty bag with all the uh, care and makeup stuff that I got with me in London and then I decided to film this now because uh, Everyone always asks me every time that I travel that I should film a makeup, beauty, travel bag and I get so many stuff with me so this video will be huge. I hope you missed me because um, that will be the first video uploaded after a quite a long of summer break. I needed some vacation, I explained to you on um, uh, Facebook. I really really didn't have the time, I was exhausted, I worked a lot and um, I couldn't pre-film on time all the videos that I would like for my vacation in Greece so I took some days of um, weeks of blogging and vlogging and now I'm back with this video that I'm now pre-filming in July but you will see in August and I hope that I returned rested and with a lot of energy I have the energy, I don't have the time to film a lot of new videos for all of you now I will also film a London haul video with um, stuff that I brought from London makeup and other so I think that I will film and upload that next week so now let's start I will start with makeup because I just filmed it in Greek and I have all the makeup stuff up here and then I will continue with the beauty stuff so uh, makeup the base that I got with me is two travel sizes one is from Smashbox and it's the photo finish foundation primer it's one of the best silicone primers I have used I like the acne one that I have in full size but that's really good for traveling and my favorite Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass that I keep this packaging and I re-fill um, it every time from the full size. I also got the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I like this a lot, I have the full size, I got the mini size in a tri kit and uh, it was perfect for my vacation. For an eye primer I got the Lorac behind the scenes primer and uh, I got this because it was a really good travel size it was in my Lorac 2 Pro palette I was not amazed it's a good eye primer but it's not something that I really felt that I need to go and search and buy the full size especially since it's so difficult to find Lorac products as a base, as my SPF, I took my um, CC, Korean CC cream that I'm using as an SPF also here. I decided to take it also on my vacation. I really love it. It's the Han Hui Snail Skin Refinisher with um, anti-aging, whitening and SPF 50. So it's really good and now I have used it maybe even more than half so it's lighter and it's better to take with me when I travel. And as a base the only foundation I took with me is the Perfection Lumiere Velvet Sanel foundation. It's really good for traveling, very nice packaging, easy, not glass. And uh, although I had a breakout, I always break out when I travel, especially when it's summer it's impossible I might use the best skincare that always works for me when I travel and it is summer I will break out and I can cover these things up but I don't want especially in the summer to have like tones and layers and layers of foundation and this looks really natural on me and I like it and it covers most of the stuff and I can use a bit of concealer for the rest or I can just uh, have a few imperfections and I'm completely fine with that. So for concealing I took with me the Bobbi Brown Face Touch Up Palette to have with me in my bag and uh, I'm still testing it. I, I'm on the fence with it, I'm not sure about it yet but maybe in a future video about favorite stuff I will uh, tell you more about my opinion on it and I took the Radiant Creamy Concealer for the face I have the Vanilla Save and the Dior Skin Star Concealer 
in the ivory shade for my under eye area for my brows I only took this sample from Anastasia Beverly Hills it's some uh, shadows some um, eyebrow shadows it's the medium brown shade and I also got with me and it's almost finished the Etude House uh, it's completely worn off eyebrow gel I don't know if there are other shades but I really like it because it has this small applicator that reminds me of the Benefit Give Me Brow and I think that I will either get again the Etude one or the Benefit one I uh, got with me the Sweet Cotton Power Cover Powder from Holika Holika I didn't use it but I always want to have with me a powder in case I need it and although this is a loose powder it comes with a puff and it's a really easy to travel uh, loose powder so I chose that mainly for that reason let's go to eyeshadows and there I think is where I went really overboard I got first of all so many cream eyeshadows it's crazy I got um, my favorite some of these products you have seen in my latest favorite video is the AMC 100 eyeliner gel from Inglot I love it and I have a specific makeup look that I told you that I'm doing with it I'm using this one and then in my inner corner I use the Kiko long lasting stick in 42 which is this light lilac lavender one and I love them together I also took the um, powder shadows that go with that I got with me the Cores Volcanic Minerals Twist Eyeshadow in the Rose Gold shade. If you have the chance to try this, this is really perfect. This is so easy to use, so blendable, so creamy, amazing. For my green smoky eyes that I cannot do without, I took the NYX Glam Shadow Stick in Emerald, Glistening Emerald. This is a perfect, perfect green base. And for a more everyday cream eyeshadow. I took Corfu from NARS which is such a beautiful neutral cream eyeshadow. It really looks so nice in so many skin tones. For powder eyeshadows, maybe that's where I really overdid it. So I took two singles. The one is the Catrice Satin Matte Eyeshadow in uh, Playing in Lavender Heaven. You really need to watch my latest favorite video if you have not seen it and uh, it's really it goes together with these two cream eyeshadows that I show you and it's my go-to look and I took together my favorite MAC shadow which is no other than club. I always have it as a single because I like to have it with me always even if I don't get an eyeshadow palette. I took my Urban Decay fourth palette because I wanted a bit of blink so I got this grey one this is gunmetal this is my favorite grey eyeshadow and it's also a naked one and this is solstice that I'm using over that Inglot eyeshadow and this four complete look I love this so much I was wearing it when I went into the Urban Decay store and the girl there really recognized it it's such a an amazing really really impressive eyeshadow I love it and then I got the space cowboy in, when I wanted to put some blink on my more naked looks and um, for my green uh, uh, eyeshadow looks especially if I wanted the green smoky I took zodiac with me so not a palette that covers everything that's why I also got these two so this is my Anastasia Amrezi palette and you know this one, I have shown it multiple times, a lot of crease color, so these are all the mattes I got and it has this green and this purple in case I wanted to use them. And this one that I didn't use everything is my Z palette with a lot of the Makeup Geek foil eyeshadows and a normal makeup geek eyeshadow which actually I use so much as a highlighter and it's Sima Sima and two Morphe eyeshadows which I need to tell you which ones I took I will have the link down below with my makeup geek review and my Morphe review uh, in case you want to 
know more about them but I took with me the pink Moscato and I took a brown one because I wanted a brown satin eyeshadow and it's the burlesque so these were the eyeshadows that I got with me and yes I overdid it and I also took with me three that was a mascara rolling off the table I also took with me three eyeliners I took this Smashbox Limitless eyeliner in onyx so that a black eyeliner is something that you always need and this is a travel size and the green urban jungle gel eyeliner eye pencil waterproof from essence i have talked about them i love them and this mask book always are 3d liner in 3d gemstone amazing and for mascara of course i took my um, Suemura uh, last curler and I have it in a different bag together with all the brushes I took I took nearly more than 10 brushes I always take a lot of makeup brushes with me I want to be sure that I will have enough clean um, blending brushes and uh, foundation brushes so I always take a lot with me unless I travel for 3 days or something so I took the Estee Lauder little black primer which i really really like and i got the travel size urban decay perversion mascara this is wonderful together with the uh, helena rubinstein last queen celebration you cannot find this one oh, i love the packaging so much it was a limited edition one they were celebrating i don't know how many years of helena rubinstein and I got it maybe like a couple of years ago, but it was completely sealed and unopened and now it was time for me to use it and I like it a lot, but it's a very classic brass. It's not something really special, but I love all Helena Rubinstein um, mascara. So that's for the eyes and for the rest of the face, I took my Obsession, the Compact Deluxe Contour Powder in 3 from Rodeo, which is my favorite contour powder right now and I really love it. I took two blushes, the Creme de Puff, a lot of favorites you see I took with me. The Creme de Puff from Max Factor and it's the Gorgeous Berries shade and the highlighter, but I use it as a blush, from the summer collection of MAC, the Freshen Up Highlight Powder, which gives such a perfect glow. And with this one, it's a perfect blush. And I took two highlighters. I took the Ilamasca Aurora Gleam, because I really like how that highlights my nose and my cupid's bow. And I also took the... Glass Sleeper Essence Cinderella Highlight Powder because I wanted a pinkish highlighter and I really like this one. Uh, for bronzer, my favorite one, Guerlain's Terracotta Four Season in Nude. It also has an extra blast that is always helpful, although I didn't use it. And it looks like that. And uh, for my face, I use the Ambient Lighting Powder in Mood Light, which is an all-time favorite and I use it every day and I adore it. And last are the lips. Of course, I took my Fix Plus because I always need some Fix Plus for setting my makeup and I took quite a lot of lip products actually. So the one that I didn't use was the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D that I have in a, a travel size and it's the outlaw one because I wanted the red lip but I wore more neutrals and the one that I was wearing all the time is the underground by Zara Cosmetics and I have a review on this and this shade I am obsessed with and another thing that I'm obsessed with is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Plum Cake I love it, I wear it with that, I wear it with the uh, Blankety from MAC Another nude that I got with me, I wore that with Anna by NARS that I absolutely love it and they look so nice together. And I also wore it with a full bodied lip gloss by Booksum in the shade MWA8. They look perfect. 
and I also got with me the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl lipstick really nice shade and I also got my newest lippy from Estee Lauder which is the pure color and the in dominant I love this packaging and I love this bright lip so these were the lippies and these were all the makeup stuff that I got with me and I have some nail stuff so I have an extra bag for my nail stuff here and uh, I have uh, some nail polish remover in this Hello Kitty bottle I have my favorite base that it's a repurchase I have used all the bases from Essie and this is the Grow Stronger and I love it more than anything else for my pedi, I got the Boudoir from Seate, a perfect red that I wanted to have with me to retouch if needed. I got the Etude House Play in 25 and this is a nude with a lot of purpley mauve in and I really like it. And one of my favorite candy lacquer nail polishes in the shade Day is Gone, which is this beautiful shade. And as a top coat, I got the Sally Hansen Instant Dry Top Coat that I'm now using um, together with my Sesvit, not together at the same time, but I'm testing it to see how quickly it dries. And until now, I really like it. So I forgot to show you where I put all this stuff and then I will continue with the care stuff. So this is my beauty bag. It's huge. I always get a lot of stuff. I know I got it from... Liberties last year and it was quite expensive around 50 or 55 pounds but I love it so much it has two huge compartments and this small one you can hang it it's really hard plastic it's um, waterproof also this plastic and I really like the design it's really really nice you can put less stuff you can put a lot of stuff for a long time traveling I use it every single time and I'm just obsessed. I think it's the best buy I ever had for a similar thing. So I really, really like it. So now let's go and continue to see what I got for my hair, face and body care. I really hope you missed me because I think this video is more than one hour long. So for my non-makeup stuff that I always carry with me, uh, this is an um, adrenaline injection because I am allergic to bees and usually when I travel in the city it's not so necessary but I always have it with me just to be sure. I'm starting with some Varia as you see and then I will go to her and face and body. Um, some sun cream although as I said I use my CC cream I might need it for this is a regular sun cream this is from the a CNP laboratory and it has SPF 42. I might need it for my shoulders, for my neck and decolletage. A friend might need it, so I always have a travel size with me. Um, L'Occitane a Pillow Mist, the relaxing one. This has lavender, uh, geranium and tea tree and it smells so relaxing. It's so intense and so relaxing. I only use it twice in a week and you just spray once every few days and it's okay. As a hand cream I have the Travel Size L'Occitane uh, Delightful Rose Hand Cream and uh, it's a perfect size. It's a really hydrating hand cream and I always put hand cream even in the summer. So maybe not so often but I always need it. And as a perfume I have my Valer Absolute Travel Size and this is the Zua Eclat one. I have made a review of this. I really like the scent for all year round. I will put the link down below. My toothbrush and what I don't have now is a travel tooth um, paste and a mouthwash. So for the travel toothpaste I just check to get something that will last me 7 to 10 days usually and that's a medium size and for the travel mouthwash the Theramen ones are perfect for traveling and they're perfect for a week so I really really like these ones and I finished them and I just threw them away I always have a nail clipper because you might need it and a tweezer so this is my travel tweezer man tweezer 
I also always have uh, many hand plus, so I have some cut ones and some alien cut ones. I even have some space Angry Bird ones somewhere in my stuff. And um, I have a lot of hair ties because they just get lost all the time. And I have some uh, cosmetic sanitizer wipes from Beauty So Clean and a travel uh, sanitizer mist because it's helpful and it's hygienic and you might need to sanitize your makeup stuff or your brushes. I also got this um, um, protective pads with cryogenic action from Navy Ocular, they're Navy Ocular patches and I use one set and I have another one and they're really nice if your eyes are too tired, if you, my eyes are always tired because I spend a lot of time in front of the computer for work and pleasure, so when I don't sleep enough or on my vacation I always like that and I also got the kitten um, drops, these are eye drops with hyaluronic acid and uh, these were sent to me from Greece to try them out and I really really like them and you can use them in 12 hours and I usually open that at night and I use half because it's quite a lot and the other half I use the next morning and uh, they are really really nice and your eyes look more fresh and feel much nicer so for my face uh, I, uh, for the makeup, I uh, took this uh, travel size glove, I will put the review down below, I used it a few times and the rest of the times I used my Vanilla Co. Planet Zero um, makeup remover sorbet thing and I'm keeping this uh, packaging and I'm putting from the full size that I have, I really like it and it just melts your makeup off and to wash my face this is a gift from my friend Cell and it's the it's also from Memebox I think the CNP Laboratory Cleansing Perfecta for waterproof makeup, BB cream and sunblock I didn't use it for makeup remover, I use it as a wash it's a really nice um, cleansing gel but it's nice to know that it also removes any remaining impurities as a second step I loved it a lot, I didn't got my Clarisonic or anything with I just used it with my hands my only thing with that is because I had a lot of breakout as I always have when I travel um, especially in the summer maybe I needed something more strong but I think for uh, normal needs this is really a good one I also use the face scrub sample that I have from NARS I got this one together with the eye cream one that I will show you from the Dermoli counter and this was uh, quite a, of a good one but I think for the price, it's not the best face scrub that I have ever used, so I don't think I will repurchase it. As a toner, I also got this as a memory box, and this is the second one that I use. It's um, um, something like an ampoule, actually, and it's the Soy Bio Plus Fermented Lampoule. I like it quite a lot, and it's easy to carry with you because of the size. And um, over that, I used for the evenings the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and for the mornings the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster with Vitamin C Complex I also have with me always and it's good because when I have a lot of imperfections it always helps my Visionaire Lancome Visionaire, I love this serum I also have a full size unopened and it's a staple for me and a holy grail and for the eyes, I use another Lancome product that I'm not so much in love with is the Zenifix Ye Light Pearl, so this is like a nice serum and it has this um, uh, weird applicator that it feels really refreshing on the eyes but I think the serum itself is not so special a lot of these products you have seen me using them in a spa video that I did with my friend Tommy when I went in Veve. I will have that also down below in case you want to check it. Uh, like a spa routine. And this is the eye cream from NARS. This is quite thick. I really like the cream. I might consider... I have quite a lot yet so... I will use it, it, it doesn't have a special scent. I will use it up and I will reconsider if I would buy the full size product or if I want to try another eye cream. Uh, for a face cream, 
I was okay in the mornings and although this is a morning cream I use it in the evenings and it's the Biotherm Blue Therapy Lift and Blur so this is an uplifting instant perfecting cream and it really felt really nice on my skin I liked it quite a lot and um, the night that I didn't use it I used the Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Mask from Rodeo uh, it's a full size I always travel with it I love it I cannot be without it and I leave it as an overnight mask and I wash it in the morning I also got with me two sit masks I used one and this is the other one this is the collagen one from Daily Dewey um, mask pack but uh, the one that I used I don't remember which one was it it was not from this um, series it was a nice one I just threw the packaging away in London I didn't carry it with me uh, and I got also a Glam Glow Bright Matte eye mask so it has two I used just one side is enough for both eyes and I will use up the other one I like it quite a lot and it gives a a quick um, a lift uh, and um, light but it's not so special I don't know if I will repurchase it the Clarence instant light lip comfort oil I love it so much it's the best overnight treatment you can see that I have used almost half of it or more than half of it it's perfect and um, I will certainly repurchase that when I finish it so I think these were all my face products and for my hair I had the dry shampoo with me, I got the Chloran one which is my favorite one and this is a spoiler because I am preparing a dry shampoo video with a lot of samples that I'm trying. I like this one a lot, it has a good size for traveling although it's not travel size and uh, I always have a dry shampoo with me for more uh, volume and also because now with the um, dyed green hair it's not so easy for me to wash them very very often. As a sample, I didn't got a special uh, sample for color hair because I thought it's only a few days and I really wanted to try this one and this, I love this whole line, you will see more products and this is the Rituals Brilliant Bliss Indian Rose and Sika Kai, I don't know what this is. This is the Nourishing Ultra Science sample and it smells like a spa and it's perfect. I really really love this sample. I just uh, took a regular conditioner, this is the Tony and Guy Nourish Conditioner for damaged hair because it's a perfect size for a conditioner and because my hair needs a lot of hydration after I bleach them and I had two masks with me, I used the one and this is the other one and this they were both from Svartko from the Gliss uh, series and they were both for intense hair repair this is with uh, amino protein serum, the other one I think was with a lot of triple keratin something so I like the other one and I want to try this one too. I think the 20 ml that has in it's too much for use so you might even be able to use it twice especially if you don't have longer or very um, treated, color treated damaged hair. And, um, my compact um, style uh, tangle teaser of course I cannot do without and the only other care product that I got is my Kerastase Ul Elixir Ultim Serum Solid that I really love the smell and it's so easy to travel with and for my body and this is the last section I think almost the last section of course I also got some cotton buds with me because I use it for makeup and as cotton bud and uh, for my body Dove Go Fresh compressed um, antiperspirant and this is um, the green tea and cucumber one I like it it's fresh and I use the spray usually I use the roll on but the spray it's more easy to travel with and I always have a loofah with me and this is a tiny little one from a body soap kit and I try to have the tiniest possible one I cannot have a sour without a loofah or a sponge just with a sour gel so I always want some small ones to take with me when I travel as a sour gel I use the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Luxurious Body Cleanser this was in a kit that my friend Aspa gifted me it smells really luxurious and really nice it's not a typical summer scent but it smells really clean and 
it's really really nice it, it smells like pampering yourself and as a scrub I use the oh my god this is like a spa and pampering yourself the Ayurveda scrub Indian rose and multani clay purifying body scrub this is also a body mask it smells like you're in the spa and you put it on your body and you scrub your body and it has clay in it and it cleanses your body I adore that I got the full size and you will see that in my London haul because it's just perfect and it smells perfect. Um, Apivita Intimate uh, Gel for Dental Cleansing Gel for the intimate area. This is the Chamomile and Propolis one. I cannot do without, you just need the bit. I always take it with me when I travel and this is the small size. I got the travel size uh, saving mousse just to have with and this is from Wilkinson it's nothing special but I thought it's handy and then this Zillet Venus uh, traveling razor that I love so much and it's just a regular razor with a very small handle and you can just uh, change the blade whenever you want and it's so nice that it comes with this I will also get one for my bag I want to have one with me all the time this is uh, just a sasset this is for um, a special salve for cracked skin it's really good for the feet I usually use my body cream for the feet and I didn't use it but with the sandals and the summer shoes it's always good to have something especially uh, for the feet so I got this one from the company Givol I don't know if it... oh no, it's a German company okay so I got this one and for my body I have the Rituals Honey Touch Indian Rose and Himalayan Honey and this thing... I didn't get the full size from London just because it was too cute for me Oh my god, this, I don't even like flowery scents and this is to die for. I can smell like that all day long every day and I will be so, so happy. So, hopefully I finished. Last few things, what I had with me in my bag and uh, some of them I even had in my um, travel uh, liquid um, bag and this is the vitamin E face mitts from body soap because it was hot not as hot as here in Switzerland or as in Greece or as in other places but hot nail polish remover uh, pads just because you might need them this is from LA colors and this is smell like peach compete because I cannot do without and I always need them I didn't need them this time but mm, many times I do aloe vera old care cream for every single use for everywhere for your elbows for every dry spot in your body my real missing restore cushion snail extract and I use it for touch-ups and not as a regular foundation I really like it it's quite a bulky but it has also a mirror so I always have it with me some impress uh, nails and this is a beautiful beautiful design I got that from London last time I have not used it yet it's a really nice one and I didn't use it this time also but you never know when you might need it I got my Travelo with uh, the last few remaining drops of my Laura Mercier Creme de Vistas perfume it smells perfect I would need to repurchase it at some point in the future but after I finish up some of the perfumes my new favorite lip balm and this is by Bird's Bees and oh my god I love the Bird's Bees lip balm and this is the coconut and pear one and a friend brought them to me from UK or from US I love coconut and I love pear and I love them and this is so moisturizing it's crazy Nip and Fab Sign Fix this is the second one I use I quite like it you just put it over your makeup in the middle of the day if you feel too greasy it's better for me than just putting more powder and it just controls the oil and your t-zone and last but not least an antibacterial hand gel and this is um, from Bath and Body Works it was a gift and it's the Pacific Cool Breeze 
and it smells really summery and vacation like it also smells a lot like a antibacterial gel so that's nice so these were all the products that I got with me I know there are a lot but I use a lot of care products and a lot of makeup when I travel especially in trips like that and because in Greece I have a lot of stuff already there so I will not have to bring everything along I thought that this time was the perfect time for me to film this I really hope you enjoy that I hope you missed me during this summer break and that this video was not really tiring and um, I will see you next week with the London haul and until then um, have a nice time and kisses bye bye